Hello, everyone. Welcome to another RDB Reviews with Ryan Bulkwell, author of uh, rdbreviews.wordpress.com. Ryan writes film, blog, reviews, TV reviews, games, wrestling, a lot of wrestling posts recently. And we agreed in our last interview we were going to chat about The Mandalorian, which is a new Disney Plus, I have to mention it, Star Wars related release. Oh, wait. Okay, Bye. so right when I hear the Mandalorian, it doesn't make me think Star Wars. But then I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I am a fan, but I wasn't that aware of the Mandalorian uh, culture. So, can you or tell me, me what? Or me. Okay, so you weren't entirely sure what Mandalorian meant either. No. Nah. Um, shall I explain? Um, sure. It's the best way yeah. you can. If you go, I can. Perfect. That's always uh, a safe bet, Ryan. If I can't explain it, you're there to help me. Okay, I'll okay. just set this up if I can. So the Mandalorians are a race or a cult or a group. There's a particular planet they all come from. And Boba Fett, who is a very popular character in the Star Wars franchise, himself was a Mandalorian. And this story follows another bounty hunter who's a bit like Boba Fett, but he's not Boba Fett. He is a different dude, and he looks a bit like Boba Fett. Yeah, <laughs> but without the green. Without the green, yeah. So he's got a different face mask. He's probably got different yeah. weapons. He, has he got a jetpack still? Well, he does get it towards the baby season. Right, that's not a plot spoiler, is it? No. Okay, because I think people will assume that he's going to be flying at some point. So good to know it happens eventually. Ryan, I have your Mandalorian review on my computer screen. And if you would like, I could explain what you've written. And then if yeah. I do that, we can then talk to you more about your opinion. Oh, yeah, sure thing. All right, cool. So oh, what I'm going to do... Sorry. Oh, actually, did Don, I'd like to explain it. Okay, please, by all means. Would you like to just talk or do you want to read from your review or what would you like to do? What is, I like to talk, actually. Basically, the Mandalorian, it's like set place. Um, after Return of the Jedi, and like 25 years prior The Force Awakens, so basically this is like 24 years way, way before The Force Awakens came out. And this, this series doesn't like have Leia or Luke or Han. Instead, it just new group of characters. But not like the new ones like you expect. Cool. So this is a part of the Star Wars franchise now owned by Disney. And yeah. as we've seen with a solo movie, Rogue One, there's probably been more that I'm not aware of. They're making Star Wars stories that don't involve the Skywalker characters. Yeah, because, because the actors are getting old. I think that's a given. I think people are aware that, well... I was about to potentially spoil the plot of uh, The Force Awakens there by mentioning a character death, but I won't because people might not have seen it. But yes, there have sadly been deaths in the cast, so Carrie Fisher is no longer with us. But, you know, in a sense, Ryan, Star Wars is a huge universe, and there's always been the potential to tell all sorts of stories, not just about yeah. Luke and, and Leia and whatever. So Yeah, like everything. They had years of setting stuff in stories, like in TV shows, anime shows, video games, other TV specials. And books as well. I'll just say there are lots of Star Wars books, which is where yeah. a lot of the um, inspiration is now being taken for yeah. the new franchise. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Incredible. Yeah, it's a big story. Yeah. So, should we talk specifically Mandalorian now, Ryan? I would love to read what you've written with your permission. Is that okay? Yeah, that would be a problem. Disney Plus original series presents The Mandalorian Season 1. So that's encouraging right there. We're going to get more series, hopefully. Ryan posted this on the 3rd of May, and this is the poster for it, which looks wonderful. In fact, this sets up the very next thing you say, Ryan, which is that the genre is action, adventure, space opera, and western. So it does look like a Western to me. A uh, lone gunslinger walks into town, that kind of thing. It's written by John Favreau, based on Star Wars by George Lucas. Ryan has listed the cast. I'm just going to pick out a few names. I'm really pleased to see that Nick Nolte 
Werner Herzog. But I watched Predator just recently, and Carl Weathers. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing him on the, the screen again. Ryan says the plot, the Mandalorian takes place after the fall of the Empire and before the emergence of the First Order and follows a lone gunfighter in the outer reaches of the galaxy, far from the Order. Oh, no. Not again. That's... We were saying John Favreau is the story writer and the director, and you mentioned in your review that the tone was set perfectly for this new chapter of Star Wars. John Favreau directing, you were just saying that uh, you can see in the way it's shot that it's John Favreau. Yeah, really like an old Western feel to it in the Star Wars universe. Star Wars has so many potential genres that it can cover. The Tatooine scenes in the first Star Wars where it's all desert, it's always felt a bit Wild West to me. Is it set on lots of different planets? Does it go all over the galaxy or does it stay in one place? Yeah, they did with the couple planets, but not like too many very iconic ones from the movies. It's actually doing like lesser known ones. It's not the iconic ones from the movies. I find it annoying when they keep returning to the same planet because you think yeah. there's, there's tons of other things going on that we don't know about. Is the story good? Yeah. The story can get a little bit lost sight the story like adds up all the pieces fall into place that's good yeah a lot of the mandalorian's backstory was left out of this season hopefully more of his story will be explored in depth in the next season now i'm yeah. thinking that might actually be a positive ryan because he's a mysterious figure he's got a mask one of the things people love about boba fett is you don't know much about him so is it potentially a good thing that we don't know much about his story now but you are looking forward to finding out more about him next series. Um, yeah. The only, like, bits, like, you get know of him for, like, his childhood. Family is, like, gunned down and everything. So he has a tragic backstory adopted by the Mandalorians. He was like an orphan in the Clone Wars. Yeah. So I assume that's public knowledge, because I think I read that on Wikipedia. But the Mandalorian itself is actually pretty cool. Excellent. It would make or break the program if he wasn't cool. The other characters, they all sound really interesting too. There's a bounty hunter robot that he sort of teams up with. There's Werner Herzog playing the client, which sounds very intriguing. It makes me want to know more. Yeah. The Gina Carano as the female in that series. Pretty much like a no adversary. Like a friend of the Mandalorian. Do you have Bounty Hunter as well? Yes. Okay. Indeed. Right, how many episodes in this series? Ah, uh, it's only like a short amount. It's about eight episodes. Okay. And they're feature length or like an hour long or? Well, yeah, feature length. Because like, they're like a new episode, like every Friday or Saturday, there's a new episode. Have you finished watching it yet, Ryan? Yes, I did. So it's all available now? Yeah, all available now. In the Star Wars thing on Disney Plus. The anime shows and the movies. Wonderful. Yeah, you mentioned that it's Disney Plus's first foray into the Star Wars. So this is Disney Plus, mine, not just Disney. Yeah. This is Disney streaming services first release on its own. Yeah. Cool. We were talking last week about how cinema is obviously on hold at the moment because of COVID-19 and people yeah. are releasing big movies on streaming services alongside all sorts of other things. This is definitely going to be popular. It's going to have a big budget, but there's lots of other things you could be watching on yeah, Disney+. Yeah, for the new second season, yeah. When do you think the second season will be coming out, Ryan? Is it a year down the line? Because this is quite well, recent. Well, we don't mind done it themselves like i think they done it from like way before the virus happened really we expect series two this year or next year do you think well i think this year probably i would be surprised if there ain't any really right the mandalorian it's a good watch then yes yeah oh yeah good. that's a look and i was just gonna say as well if you were at the time, or you happen to, 
it's um there's a thing on Disney Plus called um Disney Gallery, which is a focus on the absolute of the Mandalorian itself. Right, sorry, you were just saying, Ryan, that there is a gallery. Ryan has just been speaking about Disney Gallery, which is uh, where you can see the making of or the behind the scenes for yeah. the Mandalorian. And it also features interviews from makers of other Star Wars content, such as Clone Wars, and the filmmakers talking about their childhood experiences or how they get into the Star Wars franchise themselves. Tonight we're just talking about May the 4th Be With You, which is yeah. where people celebrate Star Wars globally on the 4th of May. And Ryan was suggesting that you watch Star Wars episodes, films on Disney Plus or just on DVD. Uh, but you personally were a bit too busy on the 4th of May to do so yourself. Yeah, because everyone is at home now, so they can't dress up. That's true. So comic conventions are one of the things that will be hard hit by pandemic. Yeah, I'll be the Mandalorian. <laughs> a great show. I highly recommend it. Exclusively to Disney Plus. Wonderful. Thank you for again telling us where it can be seen. And Ryan rates this nine out of ten. Thank you very much, Ryan. And hopefully, man, internet will not be a problem next week because, like I say, I'll be sat down here from now on. Okay, okay. <laughs>